Hi guys and welcome to TickPaste. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 25941. In this video, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. If you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different Windows 11 Insider preview builds, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TickPaste channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. In this build, there have been some changes inside the advanced display settings page in the settings app of course and we're going to open the settings app then go to system then display and then we're going to have below advanced display and as you can see dynamic refresh rate can now be enabled via a toggle after being enabled windows will then dynamically adjust the refresh rate up to the selected rate to help save power and of course you can learn more about that in the article below basically you can use this option to enable or disable dynamic refresh rate in your windows operating system and also microsoft made some small changes to help bring awareness to limitations related to the display or the cable being used that may not allow you to set a high refresh rate while being on a high display resolution. When selecting a refresh rate, you may notice some refresh rates will show an asterisk. This means that in order to select that specific refresh rate, the display resolution will need to be changed to one that supports the selected refresh rate. This behavior happens when there are limitations due to the cable or the display's capabilities and is not new, but Microsoft just wanted to make us aware of that. Also, building out the cast improvements introduced with build 25926, Microsoft have updated the cast layout and quick settings with additional support for you in case you face any trouble in discovering nearby displays, fixing connections and more. Also in the settings app, the graph at the top of the power and battery page in settings has been removed. Insiders can continue to see a graph of battery usage in the battery usage section further down the page. And if you click on that, you're going to be able to see the battery levels last 24 hours, last 7 days, which I think is pretty nice. In this build, we also have a few fixes, for example, related to the file explorer, Microsoft fixed some issues impacting the file explorer context menu and command bar dropdowns, causing them to become transparent and not work with touch. They also fixed issues impacting file explorer launch reliability. They also fixed issues causing the Japanese and Chinese IMEs to not work properly in certain apps and to not work properly in the file explorer search box. They also fixed an issue causing settings to crash when looking at detailed battery usage. And also the new options for tuning intensity and color boost of color filters now have labels. And basically this is all there is to it to this latest Canary Channel build. As you can see, as we approach the release of Windows 11 23H2, builds from the Insider channels are getting less and less exciting because Microsoft is continuing to fix and polish the existing features to have a successful Windows 11 23H2 launch. Basically, this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TickBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Ibani from TickBase. Until next time, have a nice day.